Hello viewers, in this session we are going to discuss a very important problem uh, from Taylor's theorem, right? So in this uh, lecture we are going to discuss this important inequality which can be proved uh, using the concept of uh, Taylor's series, right? So let us start. So here uh, we have to prove this inequality in which we have to show that uh, log of 1 plus x is less than x minus x square over 2 plus x cube over 3 for all values of x greater than 0, right? So we'll prove this inequality with the help of Taylor's theorem but before uh, proving this inequality let us briefly discuss uh, Taylor's theorem. So viewers the Taylor's theorem is uh, given by uh, this series that is uh, f of a plus h is equal to f of a plus h over uh, factorial 1 then we have the uh, derivative of first derivative of f at this point a and then we have h square over factorial 2 then we have the second derivative of f at the point uh, a and so on and uh, here the uh, remainder term uh, which is also known as the Lagrange's form of remainder and this term can be written as h raised to n uh, divided by n factorial and here we have the nth derivative of f and uh, here we have the term uh, a plus theta h, right? So with the usual notations, the Taylor's theorem is given by uh, this expression and here uh, this term that is h raised to n divided by n factorial the nth derivative of f calculated at a plus theta h uh, this uh, remainder or this term is known as uh, Lagrange's form of remainder and this is usually denoted by the uh, symbol rn right and here uh, this uh, quantity theta uh, is uh, lying between uh, 0 and 1. So we'll use this uh, theorem or this expression uh, to arrive at this inequality. So let us slightly modify this expression by uh, replacing h by x and uh, this uh, uh, point a uh, by 0. Right? So if we replace h by x and a by 0, then this expression, uh, it becomes uh, 0 plus x, which is simply x. So we have f of x and then we have f of 0 because a is 0. And then we have h over factorial 1. So h is x. So we have x over factorial 1. Then f prime of 0 and then we can write x square over factorial 2 then the second derivative of f at 0 and so on then we have this remainder term as x raised to n divided by n factorial then the nth derivative of f at uh, 0 plus theta x because h is x and a is 0 so here we have theta x right and we know that uh, this series is now known as Maclaurin's uh, series so this expression uh, of Taylor's theorem when h is replaced by x and a by 0 is known as Maclaurin's theorem uh, with Lagrange's form of remainder right so this term is known as the Lagrange's form of remainder. So what we will do here, uh, we'll take uh, n is equal to uh, 3 uh, to prove this inequality, right? So taking n is equal to 3, uh, this expression, it reduces to f of x, then we have f of 0 
plus x over uh, factorial 1 which is simply 1 then we have f prime of 0 and then we have x square over uh, factorial 2 factorial 2 is simply 2 then we have the second derivative of f uh, at this point 0 and since we are taking n is equal to th uh, 3 that is uh, we are taking the remainder r3 so we have the term x raised to 3 divided by 3 factorial 3 factorial is 6 and we have the third derivative uh, of f at the point uh, theta x and remember theta is a number which lies between uh, 0 and 1 right so now to prove this inequality uh, we'll proceed from uh, this expression so what we will do uh, let us assume uh, f of x as the function uh, log of 1 plus x and remember here we are treating the natural log right so we can also replace uh, log of 1 plus x by ln uh, 1 plus x so uh, here we'll prefer this notation so f of x is log of 1 plus x and for all values of x greater than 0 uh, we have to prove this inequality right so now uh, we have to calculate uh, these terms that is f of 0 f prime of 0 then the second derivative of f at 0 and then the third derivative of f at this point uh, theta x right so let us first calculate f of 0 so f of 0 is a log of uh, here we'll take uh, x is equal to 0 so we have log of 1 plus 0 that is the log of 1 that is equal to 0 right so this term is now equal to 0 right now f prime of 0 so what we will do we'll uh, find the derivative of f of x so f prime of x is equal to the derivative of uh, log of 1 plus x which is a uh, 1 over 1 plus x right so f prime of 0 is equal to 1 over 1 plus 0 that is uh, equal to 1 right so this term is now equal to a uh, 1 so now let us find out the second derivative of f so the second derivative of f is f double prime here we have x and we have to find the derivative of 1 over 1 plus x so we have d by dx of 1 over 1 plus x which is d by dx of 1 plus x raised to minus 1 so here uh, we'll make use of the power rule for differentiation so we have minus 1 that is uh, n x n minus 1 right so we have 1 plus x raised to uh, here we have minus 1 minus 1 and by chain rule the derivative of 1 plus x is 1 so we have minus uh, 1 over 1 plus x raised to uh, 2 right so now taking x is equal to 0 so the uh, derivative that is f double prime of 0 is minus 1 over 1 plus 0 uh, square so this is minus 1 over 1 square that is 1 so we have minus 1 right so the value of this term is now equal to minus uh, 1 now let us find out the third derivative now the second derivative is uh, given by minus 1 over 1 plus x raised to 2 so the third derivative is given by the derivative of minus 1 over 1 plus x uh, square so we have minus and then we have t by dx of 1 plus x raised to minus 2 so this is minus here we have minus 1 and then we have uh, minus 2 over 1 plus x raised to uh, 3 right again uh, we have applied uh, the power rule so now we can write minus minus plus so this is 2 over 1 plus x 
uh, raised to 3 and now uh, to find out the third derivative at this point theta x uh, we have to replace this x by theta x right so we have f uh, the uh, uh, third derivative of uh, this function f uh, at this point that is theta x is equal to 2 over 1 plus theta x uh, raised to 3 right so now this term is replaced by uh, this one that is 2 over 1 plus theta x raised to 3. So now this uh, function f of x it assumes the form so f of 0 is 0 then we have x over 1 f prime of 0 is 1 then we have x square over 2 uh, f double prime of 0 is uh, minus 1 and then we have x cube over 6 and here uh, the third derivative at this uh, point theta x is uh, 2 over 1 plus theta x uh, cube right so let us simplify it so we can now write f of x as x uh, here we have x then we have minus x square over 2 and here we have uh, 2 3 the 6 so we have x cube over 1 plus uh, theta x and here we have cube and here we have uh, 1 over 3 right so now if we replace f of x by uh, log of 1 over x we have log of 1 plus x that is x minus x square over 2 plus x cube over 3 times uh, 1 plus theta x raised to 3 right okay so now we have this expression so now uh, to move further I uh, will utilize uh, this inequality that is uh, theta lies between 0 and 1. So now from this inequality uh, we have theta uh, greater than uh, 0 right and we are already given that uh, x is greater than 0. So what we will do I uh, will multiply uh, both sides of this inequality by x so we have theta x greater than 0 right now let us add 1 to uh, both sides of this inequality so we have 1 plus theta x is greater than uh, 1 right so adding 1 to both sides so we have 1 plus theta x greater than 1 so why we are doing all these steps because here we have 1 plus theta x right okay now let us take the cube of both the sides so we have 1 plus theta x cube is greater than 1 cube that is equal to 1 right now uh, we have 1 plus theta x cube is greater than 1 so let us take the reciprocal of uh, both the sides so we have 1 over 1 plus theta x uh, cube is less than 1 because when we take the reciprocal of both the sides the direction of the inequality uh, get reversed so now let us multiply uh, both sides uh, by x cube over 3 because here we have x cube over 3 and we have already uh, got a term that is 1 over 1 plus theta x cube right so multiplying both sides by x cube by 3 uh, we have now x cube over 3 times uh, here we have 1 plus theta x uh, cube is less than uh, here we have x cube over 3 right now let us uh, add this term that is x minus x square over 2 to both the sides right so we'll get x minus x square over 2 plus x cube over 3 times 1 plus theta x raised to 3 that is less than x minus x square over 2 uh, plus x cube over 3. 
So now we can see that uh, this uh, term is equal to a log of 1 plus x, right? So replacing this term by a log of uh, 1 plus x, we have one uh, log of 1 plus x is less than x minus x square over 2 plus x cube over 3, right? And this is our uh, required inequality uh, for x greater than 0, right? So where's, this is how uh, by making use of the uh, Taylor's theorem or we can, uh, in other words, we can say that the uh, Maclaurin's theorem uh, with Lagrange's form of remainder, uh, we can prove uh, this inequality.